Putin obliterates Mejin Kelly for dumb question, this is her worst nightmare. Putin articulately conveyed his complete lack of involvement in our most recent presidential election. To him, having to deny this so many times is almost laughable. Mejin Kelly was persistent in trying to get Vladimir Putin to admit to the hacking allegations that are continuously being spewed out of the mouths of the left. This rhetoric is getting old, and it's now being pushed by Mejin Kelly herself. Putin took Kelly to school and mocked her for mindlessly pushing this nonsensical theory. He stated that she doesn't know what she's talking about, and she also doesn't realize how easy it is to fake something like this. The St. Petersburg International Economic Forum was a panel-like discussion, and it was hosted by Mejin Kelly. She went head-to-head -head with Putin during the sit-down interview. It will be shown on Sunday night with Mejin Kelly tomorrow at 7 p.m. ET. Mejin Kelly questioned Putin for Russia's alleged involvement in our most recent presidential election. It was clear that Putin has had enough. He was obviously tired of being accused of this ridiculous claim. He perceived Kelly as a joke as she continued to beat a dead horse. Putin replied, IP addresses can be invented, a child can do that. Your underage daughter could do that. That is not proof. He further went on to say, we didn't do this. Stop this. There is no specific evidence, no facts, just assumptions, allegations, and conclusions based on those allegations, nothing more. Putin is correct when he acknowledges how truly easy it is for someone to fake an IP address. Computer-savvy children are able to do this without any difficulty. It is obvious that Putin is entertained at how gullible liberal Americans are. Believing this lie is truly embarrassing. Anyone who tunes into this clip can see that Mejin Kelly might actually be convinced by the overly perpetuated leftist rhetoric. There is no hard evidence to officiate Russian involvement. People who believe the conspiracy are not basing their perspectives off of facts, but simply off of the liberal narrative alone. Mejin Kelly got what was coming to her. Challenging the Russian president with opinions, rather than facts, was not a smart move. Putin used the forum to deny any Russian interference in the 2016 presidential election. He dismantled the theory by explaining how easy it is for hackers to blame Russia. The question and answer session allowed Putin to go on record about his denial of involvement. Idiot liberals will most likely continue to believe their own lies. This is the party of brainwashed zombies. They travel in packs and mindlessly follow anyone who represents their godless ideology. Democrats have always relied on narrative to shape their worldview. They simply don't care that there's no truth whatsoever to their Russian collusion conspiracy. If the lie sounds right, then they'll hop on board. It's a liberal bandwagon of lies. We can only hope that Mejin Kelly isn't jumping aboard, headfirst, along with them.